What's up, Wizards and Witches? I'm Andrew, and this video is brought to you by In. There will be no foolish wand waving or silly incantations in this class. Actually, there will, but it's not exactly an incantation or anything to do with wands. Welcome back to another VFX tutorial, and today's topic is going to be all about Apparition from Harry Potter. It's an awesome film series, and you should definitely watch it if you want to know what I'm talking about. But if you've already watched the eight films, then I'm guessing that the apparition's first appearance is in the Half-Blood Prince. Well, you can make this effect right in Filmora. Here's what you're going to be learning. Looks great, right? If you want to know how to make it, keep watching. around my face that hasn't been chromakeyed out, but what missing is the background. I'll drag it in the timeline. Now as you can see, it fits in. Now before we drag the VFX, do know that it does take time to get the perfect shot for your video. But once it's done, it's worth the effort, believe me. So what we're going to use for the VFX is this green screen video. You can get it from ProductionCrate.com, link in the description down below. But what is Production Crate? It's the one and only place where you can get a green screen video or matte black background video that has special effects in it. Not only does it come with videos, but it comes with audio, vector graphics, 3D models, and even After Effects scripts. So all you gotta do is head down to ProductionCrate.com and search up Apparition. But do know that you'll have to sign up for it. But that is completely free. If I'm going too fast, then feel free to pause the video and download the assets. Now here we are back again in Filmora, and I've got my Apparition green screen video imported in the project. Drag it somewhere in the top of the video, chrome keying it out as you go, by checking in this option right here. But do know that you'll have to scale it up to the right, width and height. Do know that the part where I spun around wasn't a mistake. As a matter of fact, it made it look like I was being sucked into the apparition tunnel. To sell that the best effect, cut it up somewhere halfway across the spin and drag the apparition green screen video at the beginning of that spin. You can tweak the settings and play around with it until you've got the right effect you want. But if the video snaps to disappear and it doesn't feel right, then add a dissolve transition at the end of the recorded clip and make the dissolve as short as possible but not too short and not too long. Now to add the realism to the apparition effect, we need the camera to shake. There doesn't have to be recorded by two people to shake the camera or something like that for all the beginners out there, but instead you can make a shake with a simple effect in the effects tab, making this project able to be done entirely solo. And to add the shake effect, go to the effects tab and head to the shake category. Drag in any shake you want in the timeline, but make sure that it starts right where the apparition clip appears. I'm going with a sideways shake. Shorten it and decrease the frequency along with position X. You can even disable the RGB separate. Now play your video after rendering the playback. To finish off with the minor details, immerse yourself in the background by changing the brightness, contrast and the temperature of the video into the color tab. At last, once you're finished and happy with the results of your apparition, or at least after you've tweaked the settings right, you can export it. Change the resolution and the FPS and then hit export. Once it's done, click the find target button and play your video. And there you have it, there's the apparition effect in Filmora. It looks a heck ton amazing, and it didn't take a lot of time. 
we use the simplest of tools. If you want more tutorials like this, then subscribe to the channel and smash that bell icon. We promise you a great learning experience with a wide variety of tutorials that we have planned. Is it audio rating, voice rating or video rating that you are having trouble with? Then we have you covered because that's exactly what you can expect from us in the future. Give the video a thumbs up and share this with your video editing friends. As always, I'm Andrew and this is InfoBits. Happy editing guys. I'll be sure to see you in the next tutorial.